Uh, we're going to show some paragraph defense stuff. And what I don't like is that it's often shown static. You might have to learn that way as people just standing there and letting you do the technique. But the reality of it is, is it's a control technique and it's very effective. A guy's going to do it to a girl, girls do it to each other. Street fight, bar fights all the time. In the old days, it was more used, called hair chancery. So chancery is very effective because you control someone's posture. In wrestling, grappling, jiu-jitsu, where your eyes go, your head goes, your head goes, your body goes. So yeah, I'm not just going to do this. He could easily do his technique. But I'll, I'm either pulling back, pushing him back to a wall. It's either as a pusher or as a puller, pulling him in and uppercutting him more. Telling him he was bad and my pop high was, was cool. Or it'd be to the side, the same thing. It's not just going to be like here, where I let him be straight, statically learning. It would really be like, hey, here or here or smack or whatever. Same thing, from, it could be from the front by back hold. It'd be taking him back to a wall this way, which is very different than bending my elbow and pulling them down like this to drag them around. Okay, so anytime you can get someone's posture or structure broken past 30 degrees, it's very hard to fight over. Also, women especially have to be prepared for like the walking or jogging, power walking, be aware of jogging, don't have headphones in both ears, but this kind of thing. Someone could just come up right behind you. Okay, so I'm going to teach a general principle that you're always going to attach it with one or both hands to his attacking hand. From a grappling perspective, it's good, kind of, if you attach to him, because then you can use kinesthetic intelligence to feel where his weight, are, weight is, to feel where he is. And you can even hit him using proprioception, even if my eyes are closed, it was dark alley or whatever, I can hit him because I feel where he is. That's how bugs fight, animals fight, etc. Um, so you want to get your posture back, you want to hit them. So number one is hit them and get the posture back. So if he's pulling me like, yeah, in him, then I could do something like, just go in him. I'm going to go with forward pressure and counterattack. So especially if someone's pulling, nothing says that the free hand's not there to hit. Just hit the guy and go forward. If he's pulling me in like that, I'm going to attach one, and even if he was slapping or pulling back for a big hook, if I go center line on this guy and I drive in on him, any of these strikes, pull him straight, tiger pull him with the eyes, pull him the eyes, uh, kind of crosses, even hammer fist, not my favorite. Elbows would be my favorite once we get in that close, because he's pulling in on I can even go in on the headbutt him. There's nothing that says it. If you're pulling me, like, go with his energy. If bigger guy's attacking you, go with it. Um, so it's always attached one or both. So I'm attaching one, and I'm hitting him. Let's say he pulled me down really far, like, here. Okay, I'll take the closest weapon, closest target. Boom, 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 boom. I'll hit him in the nuts first with the bridge hand or a smack. Like if he's pulling me into him or I happen to be down, so my goal would be to maybe kick or hit. As I hit, I, I get a little shock response from and I regain my structure. So I'm not gonna hit good with power here, but I hit good here, and that allows me to regain my structure, and then I can go forward and blast him. Uh, let's see, we're pushing him backwards. If he's stiff arming and taking me backwards, pretending he's bigger and I'm smaller, then I can grab both, attach both, do the Swiss, like kick in the nuts, kick in the nuts, jab, jab, jab. Counter attack, the attacker. Go back in. Hit, as I land my first strike, whatever it is, it could be a weird position, smack him, get a uh, reaction from his nervous system that allows me to get back, back my structure. In MMA, there was a couple fights. Eric Paulson, great guy I trained with, but in one fight he didn't cut his hair because he was a stuntman and he needed it and got jacked all around. Hoist Gracie versus King Old Leopoldo versus grab his ponytail. So it's like if this were MMA and I were allowed to do this, I could have him and beat him up really easily because I've always got him out of structure. He has no power, he has no base. You have to hit and get your structure back and then fight, which could be as simple as just hitting them and then hitting them and hitting them and hitting them, hitting them more with forward uh, pressure. Let's say he pulled me to the side and was doing like this. He, he, you know, I'm a battered woman or whatever. He's pulling me to the side here. Well, there's times to fight, there's times not. I might just be, get away from me, stop touching me, I'll call 911 and get out of control. That could be the right thing if I'm really attacked. And he hasn't gone to hit it yet. Now, it's different if I'm worried he's threatening to kill me and he's going to grab a kitchen knife. Then it's different. Then I'm going to fight. 
Okay, then I'm gonna attach one, grab his face, and go, 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 and run away as soon as that hand lets go for the second, third time I hit him. Hopefully, he's not gonna stay attached longer. He's gonna open up. So it always is uh, situational uh, dependent. Let's just go like this again. So I might just attach one, and again, or this was a slap. If he's slapping me, I can get in a hand on a straight line when he's swinging around. If I go forward on a straight line, straight punches, straight punches, uh, I'm gonna be him swinging wide with this hand, okay? And then I can do other things, right? I attach to him, I can do yoga, and I can do other things. <laughs> um, from behind, I have to face it. We're gonna attach both. So sometimes I set one, sometimes both. I can't really hit him because I feel he's too far away. I'll attach both, turn down, he's gonna be pointing backwards, turn down and in again. Give a little sound to start on this side, lift the knee, kick him the nuts, kick him the shins, bash him in the face, regain my structure. When the distance is cleared, you might front kick up the A pillars and hope that it skips up. But sometimes if I end up just kicking him in the shin, my toe might be hurt later, but I gotta get some reaction to him to get my balance and my structure back. So the same thing from the front, it could be here, pull back, which kind of breaks his structure. Don't look way down, I don't want to get it that far. But do a little bow, kick him in the nuts, kick him in the nuts, hit, 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 forward pressure. Um, same thing back out here. Back here, push you backwards, do this one. Okay. So, can you open so he's pushing you back this way. I can attach and claw his face. It's always going to be dependent. But if I'm back here, I'm going to hit him, whether that's this to the nuts or this to the face, hit him and try and get my spinal, my pole back, my spinal structure back. So it doesn't have to be fancy. It's always one or it's two. So it could be two, bring him down, kick, kick. Hit, hit, hit. Or it might be as simple as grab here, attach one. There. So let's do a couple more real grabbing here. Really grab it. Do something. I can hit him, right? Why can't I hit him? Okay? Right? So if he's pulling you, do I go in and go like side of the head? Does that make sense? As soon as I hit him, 